Visit our fabulous sponsor, Ka Gold Jewelry, link in the description below. Hello, fabulous superstar Aquarius. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of May 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have a very active sky and a lot of energy building in one area of life. Now for you, that area has to do with home and family of origin. It has to do with understanding your past and your roots and feeling at home within your own skin. Now everything from actually buying, selling, moving, or taking on a new roommate is covered here, as well as aesthetic changes you may make to your home. For some, it might be things like visiting home, whatever it is that you identify as that, whether it's your old neighborhood or your old city. All of this is covered here because it has to do with the foundations of your life. And that's also the reason why we look to this part of the sky to understand forgiveness of the past, but also to understand our connection to our ancestors. Well, given how powerful and future oriented uh, the energy is here, it looks like there are a lot of changes taking place in this regard and in this area of life. So. First, we have a new moon. That is happening right around the fourth of the month. Now, this new moon is one of the more harmonious new moons that I have seen in a while. It is speaking in harmony with Saturn and Pluto. It is speaking in harmony with Neptune as well. Now, it's that Saturn and Pluto connections that are supremely harmonious, supremely supportive, which does suggest that any changes you make now have the potential to be ones that you really like and that last a really long time. Now, I am very encouraged by this energy. I feel like it is hopeful. I feel like it is inspired. I feel like there's a real sense here of you redefining your past and your home in a way that empowers you. Considering how active Uranus is under this sky, not because of the new moon necessarily, but within days of the new moon, Mercury moves into this part of the sky and quickly connects with Uranus. It is gonna be mid-month that Venus moves into this part of the sky and quickly connects with Uranus as well. It tells me that the changes that are happening are that much more deeply meaningful to you and in some way are redefining you in the process as well. So we have here all this energy happening at the foundation of your sky. Well, chances are there are going to be opportunities in some way to change your surroundings, to change your home, um, to in some way feel more at home where you are and to visit home as well. So this is going to come into focus. The chance to actually move forward from the past may take you very much by surprise and could happen in an instant, but these are changes that have the potential to last and to strengthen you well beyond this month is over. Now, as we move forward and we move into the later part of the month, we're looking at right around the 18th of the month, we are gonna have a full moon. This full moon is happening at the very top of your sky. This is a part of the sky that has to do with career and social standing and life purpose and rewards and achievement and the goals that matter to you. Full moons tend to bring uh, projects to a culmination, to a fruition. They tend to bring with them a sense of completion as well. Now, what is transpiring here with this very powerful full moon uh, is a sense of success. However, it looks like there's also some balance that needs to be reached. This full moon will be standing across the sky from Mercury that will be at the very foundation of your chart. So this speaks to me a few different ways. Uh, one is where you have been, what you have built, uh, perhaps long ago, is going to be part of what helps you move towards the sense of fruition now. If you are someone who has a home-based business or you work from home or with homes, well, that is where you'll be able to tap into this energy that much more, almost bringing forward the energy from home into a larger success. 
For others of you still, this is going to be a time of great clarity, of understanding how it is that you uh, found yourself with the goals that you have or in the career that you have. Uh, what is it in your past that fed uh, the curiosity, uh, that fed the knowledge, the momentum that led you to where you are? And for others still, this is going to be a time when there might be some career-related demands uh, that have to be compromised with uh, what is happening on the home front. Now, we've also got a supportive connection between Pluto and this full moon as well, which tells me that there are uh, changes that are taking place here, but there's almost a karmic sense to the transformation that is transpiring now. There might be a part of you that's realizing what's working and what isn't and bringing a sense of healthy closure to one part of what it is that you're doing so that you can move on towards greater success. One thing is for sure though, when you have a full moon at the very top of your sky, there tends to be an increase in visibility. And in some way, yes, you are moving towards greater success as you define it. Now, where it comes to matters of love this month, the first half of the month will be spent with Venus moving through a part of the sky for you that is quite uh, talkative, if you will, okay? It's very mind-driven, and it's a part of the sky that makes it that much easier to communicate with and connect with uh, new partners and the partner that you have. However, mid-month, once Venus moves to the very foundation of your chart, love gets more personal, it becomes more introspective, and you very likely are going to gain some new perspectives, like dramatically different perspectives to where you've been in the past where it comes to matters of love you may very much by shock and surprise run into uh, people that you've been connected with in the past as well at the same time though there may as well be a desire also uh, that you uh, want to spend time alone with this person that you love sort of closing the door and creating a sanctuary between the two of you so where it comes to matters of love, if you are open to meeting someone new, I do think the energy in the first half of the month is really encouraging, especially for things like online connections or connecting with people in your neighborhood. Once we get into the second part of the month, it becomes that much more likely that you would uh, be very surprised, especially in the days leading up to that full moon, running into someone that you used to know and seeing them and the situation very differently in an instant. For those of you who are getting to know someone, if you're just dating somebody, uh, the lines of communication remain open in the first half of the month, but it is in the second half of the month that you might get some very powerful insights into this person's past or into how it is that your own past has led you to this moment with this person. And for those of you who are in an established bond, I think that the first half of the month is spent talking to your partner. The energy is light and easier. But once we get into the second half of the month, uh, the energy becomes a lot more private. Yes, the two of you are thinking of making changes on the home front. If you aren't living together yet, that could come about very much by surprise. If you do live with your partner, there is a desire to truly create a more authentic home space for the two of you. What I love about this month for you, well look, there is a lot here, but I love how you are redefining your past. You are reimagining your home and what home is for you. And there's a sense now of movement and momentum. There's a sense of growth and excitement as well. And it starts right at home. Well, thank you so much for watching. You can get a video like this every week by logging on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month. Enjoy.